Rangers are taking on the mighty Dundee United, and you know what? Let's put them down. Let's get them relegated because this. Well, I mean, they're not expecting to win anyway. This isn't one of Dundee United's winnable games, but it is a match preview. We're back from the international break, and you know what? It's the best international break since Scotland qualified uh, for the Euros. When was it? End of twenty twenty. Beating Serbia on penalties. That is, it's easily the best. 3 0 against Cyprus, 2 0 against Spain. Doesn't really get much better than that, folks. But back to where it all matters. Even though we're nine points behind Celtic, um, they are away to Ross County at 12 on Sunday. So hopefully we can uh, get a decent result here. And uh, well, so I'd get a decent result here. There's, there's no ifs or buts. We need to win every fucking game that we have got left this season and see where that puts us realistically probably still won't win the league by doing that but you know we need to win the cup is a bare minimum Michael Beale and then he needs to get back in the summer get rid of dead weight and that is us hunky dory bang bang good nighty but if we look at the pick of the stats here um, last 10 meetings Rangers got 7 wins 2 draws uh, 7 wins 2 draws no 7 wins for Rangers 2 wins for Dundee United um, 19 goals for Rangers, 8 goals for Dundee United, 4 clean sheets for Rangers and 1 clean sheet for Dundee United. But it was that 1-0 um, at... It was 1-0 at uh, Tanadice beginning of the last year, second game of the season, when we lost our undefeated streak. I mean, I don't know, you can kind of see the writing was on the wall even after that game last year, but it is what it is. It says here, Rangers have won their last 9 league games Last winning 10 in a row in January 2021 during their title winning campaign under Gerard. It was actually a run of 15. Phenomenal. Uh, Dundee United boss Jim Goodwin has lost all 10 of his managerial games against Rangers in the Scottish Premiership. Seven with St Mirren and three with Aberdeen at Ibrox. He's lost all such all six such visits by an aggregate score of 14 to 1. Goodwin will be wanting to do something. I hope it doesn't go as close as what the game was in um, December. Uh, against Dundee, uh, against Aberdeen when he was in charge, of course, hopefully, hopefully not. But I don't think it will. We're at home. I'm expecting nothing else here than a win. It should be relatively easy. We're at home. First game after the international break. I believe there's been no injuries, which is good news. And um, Of course, the only real problem was Raskin, so I don't think he's going to be featuring for us, which is a shame. I don't even think there's been any news. I'm recording this on the Thursday, 30th of March. So if there's no news, guys, I'm sorry. But Dundee United... Personally, I think they were screwed in the last game against St Mirren. No idea how that was a penalty, but the referee gave it and it's dropped them two points. They're going to be up for it, but Rangers are going to win, right? But before we get into a score prediction, I'm going to pick my starting 11. I'm going to factor in injuries and all that good stuff. So let's see here who we're going to go with for this game. Is uh, What's that? Mercedes will... Take year to close gap on Red Bull. If you want to see F1 news, check out Fog Racing. Goalkeeper, we're going to go with Al McGregor, because why not? Left-back position, this is where things get interesting, in my opinion. You know, you've got like a, to like a, a toy between Barisic and Yilmaz, but I'm going to go with Yilmaz, right? I think you, you have to go with Yilmaz. Y younger, I'm not saying Barisic. I mean, obviously, right now, he's the better left-back, but Yilmaz is so much ceiling you know, and potential. I think you've just started going with him and, and maybe push Barisic out the door considering you've got such a good young left back. I mean, it's kind of different on the right side. Yes, we've got Define, but he's not got the same promise in my opinion as Patterson. But maybe he'll prove us wrong. Uh, Centre-backs, you've got to go with Davies and Goldson. It's unmistakable that. Right back, we're going to go with James Tavernier. Into the midfielders, Todd Campwell is in there. Sadly, you know, um, the big man is out, Nicola Raskin. So I'm going to have to go with Ryan Jack, which ain't particularly uh, awful, if we're being honest. Uh, then we're going to go for the other position. I'm going to go with the main man, Malik Tillman. That's who we're going to go with. Then our front three, I think, picks itself. You've got Ryan Ken, because hopefully Tillman will be better after this international break. Of course, he wasn't picking, carrying a niggling injury there. Um, and who are we going to go for? I'm going to go for Alfredo Morelos. Because why not? <laughs> He's the man. And that is, that's what I've went for. McGregor, Yilmaz, Davies, Goldson, Tavernier, Cantwell, Jack, Tillman, Kent, Morelos, and Fashion Sakala. So anyway, folks, I want you to leave your thoughts down below. For the game, though, for my predictions, I am going to go for 4-0 Rangers. Hopefully, it's as easy as that and there's no... 
uh, nippy bum time and not squeaky bum time and all that good stuff. But anyway, 4 0 goal scores. I'm going to go Morelos to get a brace, Tavernier to score a penalty, and Ryan Jack to uh, score a wee good goal here. But anyway, till next time, leave your thoughts down below and peace. Woo!